Well, Tricia, it was an emotional morning as attorneys for both sides argued the pros and cons of the death penalty during their closing arguments. Just a few hours later, the jury reached a verdict that Brian Hall will face death for his crimes. During the about entitled case, having found the defendant, Brian Lee Hall, guilty of count one murder of the first degree, imposed the sentence of death. The family of Brad Flam couldn't hide their emotions when the verdict was read. The man convicted earlier this week for the murder of their son, given the death sentence. You know, we're just glad justice is done. You know, and this guy won't hurt anybody ever again. He's put away, and he's not going to be with us anymore, and hopefully the sooner the better. Brad Flam and Brian Hall had been friends, but police say the two got into an argument over a woman they had both dated. In May 2009, Flam's body was found by a loading dock outside Caesar's Palace. He had been beaten and strangled. Flam's mother said it was not only tough to sit in court while Hall sat nearby. She works at the county jail and has had to be near him for the past few years. That, that was even harder. That was a hard thing for me to do. But she now he won't be it. there. Now he won't be there. Won't have to worry about going into work and knowing that he's there. The Flam family says they're happy they can move on now and focus their energy on keeping Brad's spirit alive. Brad lives on in our That's hearts. Right. We That's miss right. him, but he's still there. Never go away. Brian Hall will return here to the Regional Justice Center for formal sentencing on January 17th. Reporting live at the Regional Justice Center, Tina Patel, Channel 13 Action News.